Oh, they're having a great time. This is good. We've got some proper family bonding going on. Finally, one of the kids has turned out not rubbish. Um, how long do I have until work? I'm wondering, should I go have some more eggs? I think I should. I think I'll go eat, eat a plate of eggs. Connor became good friends with Grounder. Ah, That's good. And look, the little action figure's watching with them as well. The purple pursuer, even though he wears green. I guess you could call him the green... Uh, I don't know. The green goer instead of the purple pursuer. Who's this outside looking a bit sad? Oh, it's Ernest. Ernest Stalkamp. I forgot about him. With his little uh, woolly jumper on him. What an unusual little man. Where did Grounder get that hat? I'm just thinking, I mean... It, it sprouted from her head when she grew up. It's like, that's not actually a hat. It's just the way her hair is styled into a hat shape. Um, does she know any uh, any boys who she might want to marry? She knows the ghost of her mother. Um, that's interesting. Let's send her outside. Oh, here's someone. Look at this. Look, uh, Leo Howard. Why don't you go get to know Leo Howard, Grounder? I mean, I, I don't want to just kick these... Uh, Sims out. I want them to leave them with actually, you know, somewhere to go. I think they should get married maybe. Leo's feeling flirty but she's a teenager so she can't flirt back. Let's meet this guy and the Sims teacher. Courtney. Oh. Oh right. He's called Courtney. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Forget everyone else. Here we go. It's Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas Turpin. Well, Hello. My name's Nicholas Turpin. How are you? Is she still feeling sad over the other thing? Just from the gloomy trait. Oh, that's why she gets so miserable, because she's gloomy. Ask him about woohoo. That's a, a good icebreaker. Is he a teenager by any chance? He's not. But, uh, I don't know. She won't be a teenager forever. Oh, everyone's home from school. Connor the second got a C again. I don't know why he keeps getting C's. I, his performance is excellent, I guess. Oh, right, maybe it's like a grade. He has to attend school while focused to get a higher grade. Um, right. I don't know how that's going to happen, though, because it's really hard to get them focused. I'll have to buy a chess table, I think, or something. Um, can I afford that? I, I think I can. I think I've got a load of money now, actually. So maybe, uh, maybe I should just bite the bullet and get one. I have to fix that sink. Oh no, work in an hour. Um, okay, need to get in a good mood. Let's have a thoughtful shower. That'll, that'll get me nice and inspired. And then I can go off to work just, you know, feeling my best. Yeah, and get my promotion. I guess that's my uniform, that weird jacket thing. Oh my god, what's happened to Grounder? Grounder! Grounder, no! She's she's become frozen in the doorway. Um, Grounder? 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 <laughs> oh no, let's, uh, let's go into build mode. Maybe if I remove the doorway. I'll just move it over here. No, that didn't uh, didn't change her. No, she's still there. Um, oh, she's gone. She's gone. She has teleported up the stairs, as Sims are now able to do. Let's just get you to bed. Ember. Oh, Ember's feeling sad now because she had a bad day at school. Oh, it's nothing to do with her dead mother. Okay, these are all just terrible people. Go, uh... Go repair that shower, if you're feeling so great about yourself. I used to get Michaela to do these things, but I guess maybe this will make you miss her, huh? And then maybe use the bathroom. I am not going to have four kids next generation. This is just such a pain. Oh, maybe I should stick with one and make them really, really good at everything. Because I, I, that's like playing on easy mode, I guess. But I think, uh, 
yeah, I think it would be good. It would be a good way to uh, build up a good cash flow for the legacy. If, you know, we had one person who was really good at stuff and earning loads of money all the time, and then future generations could kind of mooch off that wealth. It's the weekend, anyway. How long have you got left as a teenager? Four days. Okay, only four days left as a teenager for Connor the Second. So, God, oh, time is really uh, catching up on us, I guess. There's Grounder. Yeah, they're still sharing the same bed. It's a little weird. They probably still will be as adults as well. I'm, I'm kind of going to have to do something to fix that. <laughs> yeah, just uh, built on a couple more bedrooms or something. I'm not sure what way to expand this house. I think... Uh, I can definitely expand the upstairs to be the same size as the downstairs, maybe. I think that could be a good way to go about it. Kind of, um... Yeah, it would leave me with a lot more bedroom space. And I wouldn't have to deal with this crappy little overhang over here that, uh... Keeps getting in my way and annoying me. Who's that? He looks like a detective. Malcolm Landgrab. Oh, is he young or old or what? He, he looks quite young, actually. He's still got some colour in his hair. And he's dressed very stylishly. Ember's phone is ringing, but she's in bed, so I'm not going to wake her up. It's probably someone crap. Oh, no, wait, it might be, uh, might be Bosco. Let's get her up. I think it's probably too late to call him. Let's, uh, chat. Let's chat with him. What? I'm sleeping. Call later. Oh, okay. Sorry, Bosco. Um... I, d I didn't mean it. Oh, that's her homework, I guess. Let's put it in her inventory. And have her watch the uh, romance channel. That'll cheer her up. She's in a bit of a bad mood. What's Connor up to? Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. He oh, he's back from work. Did he not get a promotion? No, his performance is completely on top. He's, uh... Okay, his ideal mood is playful, but, uh... Yeah, no promotion today. What the hell? What's going on there? And he's he hasn't got work tomorrow. It's... Ah. Oh. That's annoying. Um, okay, Connor the Second is well rested enough now. Let's get him out of bed. I'm going to have to have him go socialise. Oh, he's, he needs a bit of fun as well. Maybe I can send him fishing. Fishing and socialising. But um, I can have his scrambled eggs first. And while he's gone, I'll leave someone to automatically clean the house and get rid of all these uh, festering piles of rubbish we have lying all over the place. Because, I don't know, I didn't notice all the stuff Michaela did until, you know, she died. And now we don't have a neat sim going around cleaning everything up. The, the uh, patients are running the asylum. What's going to happen to Grounder if I leave the house, though? It's it. The same thing's going to happen to her. I'm going to come back. She's going to be unrecognisable. Um, okay, where am I going to go? Should I go over here? I haven't been over here. In um, Rio Verde, Sultry Springside. Oh, I have. The Calientes live there. I haven't been over here, actually, where the Rumis live. And the Souzas and everything. Why don't I go visit those? Yeah, let's visit these guys. Maybe they've got a fishing hole around here. Where uh, I can catch whatever the catch of the day is. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be mermaid today. I'm going to catch myself a mermaid and then marry her. Yeah. That would be cool, actually, to have mermaids in The Sims. And if you fish enough, you snag one and then uh, you can socialise with them and stuff. Yeah, that would be something for an expansion pack. Um, I don't see any kind of fishing area here. No, I don't think this place has one. It's got a playground, by the look of it. But, uh... No, okay, let's go back to that uh, trailer park then. And maybe we can do some fishing there. Or maybe the actual park, because, you know, there's lots of fishing going on here. Desert Bloom Park. Um, yeah, why not? Desert Bloom Park. There's going to be a lot of people here. There'll be a lot of fishing. It'll be a good laugh for everyone. Party of the century right here in um, Connorville or whatever the town is called. And yeah, we'll have a great time in uh, this park. Desert Bloom Park. Old, uh, old D Blooms. Oh, here's a pond. Can I fish in this one? No. Oh, I can. I can. I can fish from this rock. I can just click on the pond and pick fish. 
This is new. Can I do that on uh, regular ponds? Have they gotten rid of the requirement to fish at the signs? Have Has someone been listening to me? That's very dangerous. But uh, if they have, oh, thank you very much. Um, is that a pond? Looks like it. Oh, no, this one. This one just has a sign. Okay, it's just this particular pond, I guess. Okay, let's go for it anyway. Let's uh, go fishing. Let's fish with bait. We'll use minnows. Or no, 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 no. Let's fish with bait and use this apple because apparently we can't eat it. Apples are just fishing bait now. Let's see what I can catch. Oh, wow, I'm at nine hours. I'm, I'm coming close to that uh, ten-hour goal. And five out of 20 fish. Okay, it's not... Um, okay, six out of 20, nearly halfway there. Just over a quarter of the way, really. But yeah, ten-hour total. What can I buy with that? I've got 2,000 points available. I can get something really cool with that. Um, steel bladder. I rarely have to pay attention to my bladder need. I kind of need that one, I think. Uh, connections. Start all careers several levels ahead. Oh. Fertile. Great kisser. Hardly hungry. Never weary. Professional slacker. Savant. Super green thumb. I think, first of all, steel bladder is a good one to get. Because now, peeing is a thing of the past. Or, well, it'll be a less frequent um, action, I guess. Oh, look at that. I've caught eight fish. I'm getting really good. I caught a guppy. Oh, my God. I wonder if they related to Goopy from The Sims 2. But old uh, Goopy Gils Carbo. I wonder if he's in this. I wonder if I can download him. Goopy is notorious. I love the guy. They should bring him back. They should give him his own spin-off series, like uh, Goopin' Around or something. What a guy. Oh, look at that. My satisfaction is ticking up again already. 12 out of 20 uh, fish caught. My social's going a little bit down. I think I'm going to have to uh, go chat to people. Oh, is this, is Hunter over here? There's Hunter. Let's go, uh, let's go chat with Hunter. Let's go discuss some interests. I can't really do nice things with her. I've, most of my social interactions are really horrible ones. Let's try and get a relationship going here. I think we can be f friends here. Um, Let's ask about Woohoo. Hunter might know about Woohoo. Whose homework is that? Is that mine? I think it is. Why is, why is it over there? Did I leave it here last time? Oh, look at this. Look, they're getting along perfectly. Tell her a joke. That'll raise my fun as well, I think. Oh my god, look. I can see up her skirt and it's kind of weird. Her legs just stop a couple of inches in. And then she's just nothing. She's just ghostly uh, emptiness. I don't think that's kind of a good thing to look for to find in someone you're uh, trying planning to have a child with someday. That uh, she is literally in like non-existent from the thighs up. You're kind of missing out on some important uh, parts there. Can we get to know her. What do I know about her? She's a loner and she's sad. Oh. Oh, let's complain about parents. I mean, my, one of mine just died. Isn't that crap? Oh, no, I'm bored from having a dull discussion. Maybe you were not meant to be. Let's suggest fun activities. Maybe that'll be fun. Maybe she'd like to do something fun. Does Hunter like fishing? Uh, let's, um, oh, what? Let's try some romance here. Let's uh, try a pickup line. See what'll happen there. Will she go for a pickup line? Oh, no, no, no. She's not into that. Um, all right, let's gossip with her. We've got a bit of a red um, relationship romantic status. I think that's bad. I think that means it's in the negative. Let's try a self-deprecating joke. Because I've made a fool of myself by um, awkward socialization. You know, what, what other kind of socialization could I do, though, really? Let's talk about mimes. She's embarrassed. Oh, she's. Th let's make her less embarrassed. Let's uh, let's ask her to hang out. Yeah. Hunter, come back. Come back. We're not done here. 
Hunter, hang out with me. Come on. We, we, we've got a connection here. Yeah. Oh, she's hanging out with me. Okay, she can hang out for a bit. Um, can, I just, can I ask her on a date? No, I can't. Let's ask her if she's single. Maybe she'll answer me that. She is. Okay, perfect. Let's uh, show off my outfit. She might like that. Maybe she's into fashion. Can I play chess with her? I think there are chess tables here. Uh, yeah. Let's go play chess together. And that'll put me in a thoughtful mood and raise my fun and everything. Raise our social. There we go. Perfect. I wonder, do, do they play real chess like in The Sims 2? They don't, actually. I think I remember checking this before. In The Sims 2, they used to play real chess. I don't know why they've taken that out. It hasn't, uh, it wasn't in The Sims 3 either. It's just laziness. Oh, oh my god, look at this guy in the polo neck and beard. He looks like uh, the bloody master from Doctor Who back in um, the Roger Delgado days. That's it. I bet that's his name, Roger Delgado, is it? Now, Frederick Marquez. He looks very villainous, though. Who's this? One of the Calientes? Nina Caliente. She's, uh, she's still looking very young, actually, considering she's been around the block a while. Okay, you get in close, you can kind of see she's got a bit of a weird face on her. Um, but is is she going out with Malcolm Landgrab these days? I think they would be a very good couple. They should get together. Who's that? Conrad Reyes. He looks like he needs to pee. Maybe he should go to a toilet. And this guy back here who's uh, just recognised the master, obviously, is uh, Matteo Brannan. That's like a really posh way of saying Matthew Brennan. But uh, obviously his parents were really pretentious. So they're like, oh, Matteo Brannan. Maybe it's his uh, Simlish name. It's like Simlish for Matthew Brennan. Why are they gathering around here? Can't they see this is kind of a private party, you know? Trying to, to pick up a girl here. Oh, you can't look up chess moves on your phone, Connor the Second. That's cheating. Oh, you're making a mockery of the game of chess. And look, Conrad is not pleased. He's giving sinister glares over that one. He's not happy with it. What's he doing there? He's yelling. No, don't yell at her. Oh my god, you're you're really not good at this, are you? His name's Bradley. Did I call him Conrad a minute ago? Who's Conrad? I don't know. Um Oh my god, their their love thing is slipping even lower. I I think this chess game's turning into a bit of a disaster. I I, I just I wish these guys would go away. They're having a conversation across our date. It's um, it's really distracting. And look, my friendship with Hunter has just gone down by loads. She's just, she's actually doing uh, sit-ups, probably to build up some muscle so she can murder me. So, oh, I'm cooking up some burgers. What uh, what kind are they? I'm cooking veggie burgers. Oh, maybe I'm vegetarian now. That that's unusual. Yeah, eat, eat your burger, Connor the second. Don't let a uh, don't let that thing with Hunter get you down. She's not worth it. We'll find you a better wife somewhere. Someone who'll appreciate you for who you are. And, uh, yeah, won't, won't be so troublesome. But in the meantime, I think you should go home and shower. You're filthy. Unless there's showers here. No, there's just toilets and sinks. Yeah, I'm going to send him home to shower. Um... It's for the best, you know, before the old uh, stink lines start showing up again. Because that'll completely sink any hopes he has of uh, getting himself a girlfriend if he actually stinks. He's really got a repellent personality. I think it's added a new level of challenge to this game. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's some kind of love potion I can buy him or something. Because I don't think I'm going to get him to seduce someone by natural means. He's just going to get rid of them. There's not even enough teenagers in the town, really. Uh, oh, did you hear that? They all just caught a whiff of him. Like, ho, ho, ho. Oh, and I forgot to tell anyone to clean the house. So, um, yeah, the house is still in a terrible state as well. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to finish up here for today anyway. And um, next time we'll try again to find Connor the Second, a girlfriend who he can one day marry. 
Um, if he doesn't find one as a teenager, I guess we can find him one as an adult. But we always have the risk then that she'll turn out to be really, really old, like Michaela was. And then she'll just die on us and we'll have no one to fix our toilet when it gets broken. But um, I'll leave it there and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.